Also tonight, South Florida politics are being put aside as lawmakers, both Democratic and Republican, prepare to head to Haiti tomorrow morning. Now, the group is heading to Haiti on a humanitarian mission, and they're set to meet with Haiti's president and prime minister. Local 10's Roger Losey spoke with some of the lawmakers going on the trip. He joins us live now with more. Roger. Charles, we are outside the office of U.S. Representative Ileana ross Layton, and one of five politicians going on this trip. It's actually somewhat of a historic trip. It'll be the first time that all five congressional representatives from Miami-Dade County will be visit Haiti at the same time. It's something of a fact-finding mission, but they're also hoping that it plants the seeds of prosperity in this beleaguered nation. Haiti is still rebuilding from last year's hurricane season, but the country's troubles run deeper than the floodwaters four storms in a month left behind. A crippled infrastructure, lack of food, corrupt court system, rampant crime. Conditions so bad, many Haitians, desperate for a better life, risk the ones they have at sea to find it. We know when a tragedy hits in Haiti, it hits hard. The Haitian people struggle as one U.S. Representative Kendrick Meek has taken to heart, pushing for more U.S. aid and involvement in rebuilding the poverty-stricken nation. Haiti has the best chance for a recovery economically and infrastructure-wise than it's had in many years. When he returns tomorrow, he'll bring with him the four other congressional delegates representing Miami-Dade County, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, Lincoln and Mario diaz Balart, and Ileana ross Leighton. It'll be the first time all of Miami's congressional representatives have been to Haiti at the same time. Their day-long mission includes meetings with Haitian President René Preval and Prime Minister Michel Pierre-Louis, who just returned from South Florida. The U.S. delegation wants to know what sort of assistance Haiti needs, what its leaders are doing to improve the quality of life there, and to get assurances that U.S. government and private sector investment will be used to pull Haiti out of the economic storm that rages even when the skies are clear. What are your needs? How can we help you? The United States is not going to be the economic lifeline for Haiti. Haitians have to do that for themselves. But first, they need, they need a the helping hand from the generous spirit of the American people. And this is a no-frills trip. The group leaves at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning on a Coast Guard C-130. What they hope to do is come back to be able to tell not only their colleagues in Washington, but also the local churches and private sector business owners that, hey, it's okay to invest in Haiti. Charles, what they want to be able to say is, look, the government is not trying to bail out Haiti. They want this to be a partnership between our country and Haiti to help pull it out of some very troubled times. Hopefully making a difference. Roger Losey, Live Force. Thank you, Roger. And